Welcome back. This is Will at Work. I'm Kevin. Today we're looking at the uh, Sega Genesis from Radica. Uh, this is the blue unit. It's like a TV play uh, unit. We looked at the red one. I think I called it black uh, in the uh, um, when I looked at it before. It's a mini battery operated system, much in the same vein of uh, you know, um, the Jack specific type units, except they give you a full size controller, D pad with the three buttons. It's kind of nice. Uh, you know, it's emulating the 16 bit. I believe there's five or six games on it. Uh, you know, connects via composite cable. And uh, we will check it out and we'll, we'll see if it works. Radica released like six or seven different types of these, not all like this. We looked at the Menace or Gun. Uh, maybe, depending on when you look at this video, but uh, we will, or we, we already did. Um, and uh, that was one. They have an Outrun, which we'll look at uh, in the future here. And then um, they also released a, a Sonic and Knuckles one, um, or a Sonic and a Pinball type of one. And then I believe they were also, they had a... Um, like a Capcom sort of Street Fighter 2 one that wasn't like Sega branded, you know, because it was uh, Capcom. But I believe it was like the Genesis version, I think. It might be the arcade version, I'm not quite sure. I don't actually have that one because people that have it want a, quite a bit of money for it, but maybe I'll get it before too long, depending on how insane I feel that day. Um, yeah, so anyway, let us uh, let me wire this up to the video side and we'll take a look and we'll see what we got. Here we go. So this is the original. I believe this is the first one. The red one was the second one. Arcade Legends here from Genesis. The blue one was the first release. So we have the original Sonic the Hedgehog, Altered Beast, uh, Golden Axe, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Kid Chameleon, and Flicky. Let's look at something I've never paid much attention to. Let's look at Kid Chameleon and see what the heck that's about. There was a new machine in the arcade that one could walk into and play, whatever, background, 1992. Let's do it. So I'm thinking it's a Mario clone. I know. <laughs> Who invented this? This is just silly looking. Can I get can I grab something to get taller? Would that be like a would that be too much? Uh oh, I turn into a like a like a knight or something, with a weird helmet. Bonked him on the head. It's such, it's such a, uh, hey, what the hell? Guess I better run, huh? Oh, okay, there was something. I mean, it looks pretty good, though, like, game-wise. I mean, I've never played this before, but it's colorful, and it's got that nice wavy background, like it's, uh... Oh, hey. Little dragons. Um, like it's, like, water or something back there. And that's kind of like... I've watched this Coding Secrets guy... I made a lot of games. He's on YouTube. If you get a chance to check it out and you're interested in that kind of thing, he always talks a lot about Genesis development and Sega development because I guess he did a lot of that. And uh, he explains that one of the techniques that the Genesis has is that you can control the, um, the horizontal uh, inexpensively, let's say, in terms of horsepower usage. And, you, you know, line by line, you can do tricks with it to, um, yeah make it do crazy things like that wavy thing in the background or 
present some sort of like weird 3D effects. All right, that's Kid Chameleon. Let's get back to the menu. Let's look at Flicky. Let's see if that's uh. It's like an 8 bit game. Oh. Oh, you just pick things up and take it to the exit or something. Gotta rescue the little birds. Alright, we don't need to play this. Rubbish. Let's look at Altered Beast. I believe this was the original packing game on the Genesis when I first bought the Genesis back in the day before they uh, started selling it with Sonic. And this was kind of a strange choice. Because this was in the arcade. I remember playing it in the arcade. I wouldn't have called it a big hit, though. But damn, Wolf always gets me. Every time... You kind of need that wolf to power up. This is kind of a weird sort of... Weird kind of beat -em up Got more range with your feet than you do with your... With your fists. Yeah, my shirt's open now. Look out! muscular here we go I'm a werewolf now I can do like super kicks and shoot fireballs I can't think of anybody that really liked this game, though. Like, I can't think of anybody that I've ever known that was like, oh, yeah, man, Ultra Beast was my shit. You know? Like, it's just kind of a blah game. I mean, it's not, it's not a terrible game. Like, it's not a terrible pack-in title. It's going to turn into that stupid big head thing now. might be a good demonstration of what the Genesis could do versus other 8-bit systems. Oh shit. Can't even get past the first part. It's not terrible, I am. All right, so that's the Genesis uh, from Radica. It's not terrible. You know what I mean? It, it, these days, you can get better clone systems that have, like, a lot more games in it. But it's nice that this came with this original controller. Like, when this came out in the mid-2000s, it's pretty good. I mean, six games, decent controller. Uh, it's not a bad time. Y you know, um... It took somebody like Nintendo with their NES Classic to kind of be like, look guys, this is how you really should do it. Let's release a small system, two controllers, and uh, let's fill it with like 30 games, right? I mean, I know the licensing will probably make that kind of expensive, but then they sold it for 100 bucks or whatever, and it did really well. So, need more of that. Need more systems with a whole bunch of things. Or you need like an Evercade that takes cartridges. If you want to do it the legal way, there's lots of ways of doing it. That's the not the legal way. Anyhow... Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time in the next video. Have a good one.